All right, so I'm here with Grace Fulton. Um, Grace, uh, last time we, we saw you uh, and the FAI was uh, last year at Young Riders. Yes. Um, what have you been up to since then? Um, I was trying to qualify another horse of mine for Young Riders this year, and I was moving up to intermediate. Just trying to get those qualifications. <laughs> and uh, who did you uh, bring uh, to Plantation? I brought Leo the Lionhearted, Leo. Um, he's a very good boy so far. He's a bit naughty in the dressage, but he's been good today. And uh, what is what has your spring and summer been with him? Um, he, he went to a few prelims. He was just sort of hanging out. He wasn't really doing much. I figured this would be a fun fall one to try and finish up on. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to do another event after this, but either way, it was a lovely course to go around. So, yesterday was was dressage up on top of the hill, um, and there, you know, was with all the the tents and the vendors set up right next to the ring. Uh, it gave a lot for the horses to look at, and and a lot that could distract them. How did he handle the atmosphere up there? Uh, not too well. Um, yeah, it was a fair bit of atmosphere, and he got a bit nervous and up, and it just. Wasn't our best test, um, but I think we sort of coped. It still didn't end up being a great score, but next time, yeah, it's all about getting them out. See how he does. Uh, I'm hopeful for our next time out. <laughs> Tomorrow or today was uh, was cross country. Um, the course definitely had some some challenges to it, and it rolled the terrain very. You know, throughout the whole thing, you're, you're either going uphill, downhill. Had some good galloping lanes, but you know, I guess when you were getting ready to to head out, were there any spots that you know were you were devoting a little bit extra attention to you know ahead of time? Yeah, I was definitely thinking about the six AB, the down bank. Um, I had heard that there were some issues there beforehand, and he definitely backed off and looked at it, and I rode a bit harder, and then. I mean, I think first water, just because they couldn't quite see the water from jumping A. Um, but he was good through there. He was actually really good. And tomorrow, you're back up on top of the hill in stadium. Um, how is he for, for the show jumping? And, you know, what are you focusing on going into it? Uh, touch wood, he's been pretty good lately, jumping. Um, I think we'll be trying to do jobs first, <laughs> and then after that, uh, see if he handles the atmosphere up there a bit better. I think once we're out there and jumping, he'll be a bit more focused and on me. Uh, yeah, he likes the show jumping. He's usually good. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I, you know, going back, you said that this was probably going to be where he finishes his season. Uh, what are you looking at uh, going forward from here? What's next? Um, I don't know. I think hopefully we might start up next year, start the prelim, and then see where he wants to go from there. Uh, obviously, it's all up to him and how he feels. But yeah, I don't want to push him one way or the other. See how see how he wants to feel about a new belt or something. But I think it'll be a good one to wrap up the fall. Good deal. Well, Grace, I appreciate it. I wish uh, you and Leo a lot of luck tomorrow, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.